after the Killswitch discography and with their next CD as Daylight Dies. Check that shit out there. There's the back. And uh, one thing I forgot to mes mention is all these uh, Killswitch Engage CDs are on Roadrunner Records. So, uh, you'll clear that up if you had a question about it. Anyways, uh, let's go over the tracks. Number one is Daylight Dies. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty heavy track, actually, for Killswitch. Um, actually, in general, it's just pretty fucking heavy. Uh, number two, is, this is Absolution. Um, this is the one, yeah, this is a pretty fast one for Killswitch, I'd say. Uh, number three is The Arms of Sorrow. It's a little slower, but it's still damn good because it's kill switch. Uh, Unbroken, just the heaviest hell song. One of the heaviest off this album, actually, if not the heaviest. My Curse, I don't really need to explain My Curse because if you're a kill switch fan, you know that song already. That's number five. Number six is For You. Uh, it's a pretty damn heavy track, too, I'd say. Uh, number seven, Still Beats Your Name. Uh, I don't know, they're pretty much, these, number seven through eleven, actually, kind of like the, um, I'd say almost the same, like, heaviness, the mixture of, um, the, like, clean vocals, like you're hearing actually right now. Um, Number eight is Eye of the Storm. Same with that one. Uh, number nine is Break the Silence, my favorite track off this album. It's fucking, it's got a kick ass riff in there. I fucking love it. Uh, number ten is Desperate Times. And number eleven is the song you're hearing right now, Reject Yourself. Uh, anyways, the Kill Switch album, As Daylight Dies. Uh, it's not my favorite. But it's definitely not a bad album. Um, I prefer uh, Howard in the End of Heartache album more than this album. That's my favorite album with Howard. And I don't know, it's just... This, this has got more melodies and shit, I think, to it. Because all the songs are really catchy for their, um, like their choruses and shit like that. So... Well, I don't know. This is the, it's not my favorite Kill Switch album, obviously, but um, as I said, the library just breathing was definitely my favorite Kill Switch and Engage album. But if I had to give this a grade out of ten, uh, I'd probably get it give it a eight out of ten, just because it's still a heavy album for Kill Switch, and it's definitely not a bad album, but I don't think it's the greatest work. Uh, it's got a few songs that I actually, well, I actually don't really care for, I'd say, uh, but I can't really, really say anything too much else about bad about this album because there's not really much to say bad about this album. This is a Kill Switch Gage album. But, well, that's not always the case because the next album I'm going to review, <laughs> you'll have to see. But anyways, that's it for the As Daylight like Dies review by Kill Switch Engage. Alright, stay tuned for the next Kill Switch. Alright, peace out guys.